Let us see the anatomy of a dicot and monocot leaf. Leaves are very important vegetative organs because they are mainly concerned with photosynthesis and transpiration. Like stem and roots, leaves also have their three tissue systems that is dermal, ground and vascular. The dermal tissue system consists of an upper epidermis and lower epidermis. Stomata occur in both the epidermis but more frequently in the lower epidermis. The ground tissue system that lies between the epidermal layers of a leaf is known as mesophyll tissue. Often it is differentiated into palisade parenchyma on the adaxial that is the upper side and spongy parenchyma on the abaxial that is the lower side. A leaf showing this differentiation in mesophyll is designated as dorsiventral. It is common in dicot leaves. If mesophyll is not differentiated like this in a leaf, that is made of only spongy or palisade parenchyma as in monocots, it is called isobilateral. The mesophyll tissue, especially spongy parenchyma cells, enclose a lot of air spaces. The presence of air spaces is a special feature of spongy cells. They facilitate the gaseous exchange between the internal photosynthetic tissue that is the mesophyll and the external atmosphere through the stomata. The vascular tissue system is composed of vascular bundles. They are collateral and closed. The vascular tissue forms the skeleton of the leaf and they are known as veins. The veins supply water and minerals to the photosynthetic tissue. Thus, the morphological and anatomical features of the leaf help in its physiological functions.